Hey, Mike Foster here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a real fresh and simple, delicious guacamole. You're gonna need avocados. I have four avocados. You're gonna need a white onion. We're gonna dice up a tomato. We're gonna use a half of lime. Of course, cilantro. Oh, that smells good here, smell that. Can you smell that? Yeah, it smells great. Cilantro is like Mexican uh, oregano. And then a jalapeno. Ah, very hot. Now I'm gonna take the seeds out of this, I'm gonna dice it up and I'm gonna put it just on one part of it because I know some people don't like their guacamole too spicy. And the other thing, this is like the little secret recipe. I learned this from a, uh, an amigo of mine named Chris uh, and he puts one radish uh, in there and it gives you a little crunch. Um, and it's going to be great, okay? First thing is you're going to start preparing your avocados, okay? This is the easiest way to prepare an avocado. And if you don't know how to, um, if you want more information, I have a, a very, very popular video on uh, YouTube called How to Eat an Avocado, okay? But it's quite simple. These are really, these you don't need, usually you would take the knife and pop it in there and, and turn it around, but these are so, uh, excuse me, these are so ripe, see, these are so ripe that you don't have to do that. See, this guy pops it out, but I'm gonna show you another secret. We're gonna put these aside, because if you add the pit into your finished guacamole, it will keep the guacamole from turning brown. So, let's prepare these. Let's check this out. And we're going to take them, each one, and plop them into here, into a bowl. All right, this is the, the last of the avocado. Chop that up. Let's transfer that into the bowl. Take a good look at how much we have in there. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now, next, I'm going to take a, uh, a white onion. Chop this end off. Chop this end off. Put a little cut right through here. All right, the onion's done. I'm going to put that aside. Toss this, okay. Next, we're going to put, look at this beautiful tomato. Uh, Mexican food is pretty basic. You have tomatoes, you have onions, you have guacamole, you have beans, you have your different proteins, your animal proteins, and you have your, your tortillas. We're going to have chips with this. But what's amazing about Mexican food is that you mix them all in dozens of different ways and you get different fantastic flavors, okay? So the tomato, I'm going to remove this part and then we're gonna get these seeds out of here, okay? Follow me to the sink, please. Just like that, see? Isn't that beautiful? Okay. And we'll give these another fine dice. All right, tomato, onions are done. Now we're gonna go with the radish. You know, I have a, another video called How to Eat a Radish, and you're like, Mike, what's so hard about eating a radish? Well, and I also talk about all the, all the great uh, nutritional benefits of, of radish. And radish, there's, there's, there's dozens and dozens of different uh, varieties of radish. This is an organic um, strawberry radish. I'm gonna throw these out. I'm gonna give this a really nice, a really nice fine chop, just like that tomato, you see that? And we'll just pile these guys on like this. We'll go across, one more, and then like this, okay? All right, so we have the radish, we have the tomato, we have the onions. You make sure that they're not too chunky, okay? All right, let's take a look at this guac, this avocado. This stuff, I could just eat this plain like this, but we're gonna add all our other Wonderful flavors. Okay, you ready? Here's the onions. Here's the tomatoes. Oh, that's gonna be good. 
All right. Let's mix these around a little. See how beautiful and colorful this this is and fresh. That's gorgeous. Now the cilantro. We're gonna we're gonna fold this cilantro like this. Okay. Bring it down here. I'm gonna give it a nice nice chop. I think that's about enough. One more, okay? Chop this up pretty good. So this, you, when you start chopping it, this stuff smells amazing. Wow. Okay. So add that. Okay. Don't put that stem in. We'll mix that a little more. And then a lime. I'm gonna put a half a juice from a half a lime. This will give it, not only will it help, let me cut that again, sorry. Not only will this help uh, with the browning, it also adds flavor and it also help bind it. Oh, that smells delicious. Let me mix this up. Now you're gonna add salt and pepper to taste. Here, we'll put some fresh ground pepper. Let's get over the top here. All right, and I got some sea salt. All right, not too much. Now let's fold this in. All right, you can make this as chunky or as smooth as you like, and it depends on how much um, lime you put in it and how, how often you just keep turning it. I like mine chunky. Now, what I do is my wife does not like it too, um, she does not like it too spicy. So what I do is I take about that much for myself, and she gets all this, <laughs> and then I add a jalapeno. Now jalapenos are mild compared to some of the real hot peppers. And let me show you how to cut one open and to keep it mild. Okay, cut both ends off, slit it right down the middle, and here's your hot stuff right here. These seeds right there, those are what causes all the heat. So you can put them with the seeds or without the seeds. I'm gonna do this one without the seeds. I'm gonna peel these seeds out, okay? And I'm just gonna chop this guy, give it a nice, a nice tight chop like that, right? And this will give the guac a nice little bite, okay? Put that in. Let me mix this up. Let me take a little bite just to see how spicy this is. Okay, that does it. I'm putting a few of the seeds in. Check it out. All right, we're gonna put these in. We're gonna get a little more bite in there. That's why I pulled it out. All right. Guacamole it was fast. It was fresh. It was easy. Now let's see if it's delicious. Get one of your favorite dipping chips. Let's get tight in here. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? Take a look. Perfect. Until next time. Peace.